But as you can see, when this is bouncing, it'll come up and hit down here. So I actually got a pretty good amount of damage down there. So what we're gonna do today is put mastic tape here and then also make some little pockets on top of this to help quiet it down even more. Um, that way when it's doing a chain slap like that, it's not gonna be hitting this and making as much noise. So first things first, what we got here is mastic tape, a little bit of rubbing alcohol, a clean paper towel that we're gonna use to clean the frame. I'm gonna use this to mark on the mastic tape, tape measure, and a pair of scissors. So with all that, you should be pretty much good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my bike upside down so we can start working on the bottom part. Okay, so now that I got my bike upside down, you can see the damage a lot more. Um, so this is where it's been chipping. Basically the chain's been coming down and contacting that. So first things first, we're gonna take some alcohol, clean this off, and then uh, put the mastic tape on. So basically, just gonna wipe off any excess residue. This will just help it stick better. Um, you don't have to go too crazy with it, but I have found that the alcohol definitely helps a lot. Okay, so now that that's clean, we're gonna go ahead, grab our tape measure. We're gonna go from the point of contact here, go all the way back right before this pivot. So I'm gonna cut it right at 320 millimeters. Got my measurement here, that's 320 millimeters. My mastic tape. Open this. So this is what I've been talking to you guys about. Basically it's like a rubberized tape. Um, it's super sticky and it lasts a really long time. So I'm gonna unroll this. 320. All right, so now that I got this piece cut, I'm gonna go back over to the bike. Okay, and installing this is super easy. Basically, just peel, and then you're left with this like rubbery substance here. And then we're gonna go like this, try to cover all of the marks that were there before. Kind of make sure it's gonna line up good with what we were thinking earlier. I like to just get it right on the edge here, and then, um, Kind of push it down flush. Make sure that you got all the edges pushed down and then if you spend a little bit of time just kind of getting it warm with your hands by rubbing on it, then it will um, stick a lot better. Or if you have a blow dryer or a heat gun, you can kind of blow dry on that and it'll definitely get to stick really, really well. So. Awesome, cool. Now that we got that done, I'm gonna add a few extra little pockets, um, which will basically fold over and kind of release a little bit more energy. So, makes it even more quiet than just running the rubber. So we're gonna come over here, roll this out again. And we're basically just gonna cut one inch squares. So, got one inch, two inch, three, four. Cool. And now I got these four one inch squares. Basically what I'm gonna do is go back over to the bike and then I'll show you how to install these. So what we're gonna do is grab these little one inch squares, peel the backing off, basically right where the chain is gonna hit the most. So here, I'm gonna do this, fold it up. create kind of like a little ravioli pocket here. So do a couple little ridges like that. And like I said, it'll keep it from hitting this part and it'll make it really, really quiet. So basically the end goal is you wanna squish these down, create a little pocket of air and a little bit of extra rubber and make it super quiet. So now, not nearly as loud. One thing to keep in mind too is that a lot of times you'll get chain slap here on the top side of the uh, seat stay. So if you don't have a guard here, definitely think about putting one on there. Um, this bike already has one on here. Like I said, there's one from the factory here and I'm gonna do a few more of these little ravioli things um, kind of on the top here. All right, cool. So now I got a few more of these little things on here. Um, basically did the three on top. I got some more on the bottom here, a little bit uglier, but at the end of the day, all you want is wherever the chain's gonna probably contact. You just want to create a little bit more um, cushion there. So 
makes it way quieter, makes your frame last longer, it looks pretty good. All right, sweet, well I hope you guys enjoyed that little tech video. Like I said, this whole roll master tape is only 10 bucks. Um, it'll do about eight to 10 bikes, depending on how much you need. You can use it not only as a chain safe protector, but you can also throw it down here for some down to protection, prevent against those rock strikes. So it's a really durable material. It works really well and uh, kind of a hidden little secret in the bike industry. Um, a lot of pro teams will use this to quiet their bike down, especially on the downhill World Cup circuit. So yeah, now you got a little secret. Um, hope you guys enjoy your ride. Have a great time and um, I'll see you out on the trails sometime.